So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound in this video we will cover this amazing lab and this is the most requested lab so here is the easiest solution for you all guys do not worry first thing is that you need to create a github account okay so just first of all create a github account I am showing you how you have to create it just click on sign up and here basically you have to enter all your details like email id just like you create any account you have to just create it and just click on create account once you have created account you have to just sign in okay so you have to just sign in and if you have already account just sign it like this now here basically sometimes what happens ask for username basically confirmation email like you can see two factor authentication email so it will be available on your mail so just check it now just come over here in case you have already completed this lab you have to delete this default repository so just follow along with me and just delete it and in case you are starting the lab for the first time you have to skip this step just skip this step first let me show you how you have to delete the repository if you have completed this lab previously and face any bugs don't worry you'll able to complete 100 percent score in this lab without any issue now once the repo is deleted you can see all these things are available over here now we have to delete the ssh key also in case you reached at this stage also you can delete the key and if you haven't done anything want to start fresh don't worry we'll start from here so just now open the cloud console incognito window and here it is basically getting signed in automatically so basically here it may ask for credentials so you can check the lab for it now here you have to just click on i understand so just click on the i understand and then basically you have to just activate the cloud shell okay we will initiate the cloud shell and work all the tasks very easily do not panic just stay tuned and just follow as i am doing so that you get full score without any issue so basically the next step is that you have to just click on i agree and again continue and then just you have to just activate your cloud shell and then we'll initiate the first step okay so just activate the cloud shell click on continue and just authorize yourself once the cloud shell is ready basically like this in the description box of this video first of all let me increase the font size now in the description box of this video i've shared one repository come over here and first of all you have to just select this first repository command just paste over here so basically what we are doing here first thing we are just setting the environment and then we are just creating a cluster so the cluster creation may take 5 to 10 minutes so you need to wait for it and in case you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe it also for other skill badges challenge lab lab free courses all are available on this channel just check the playlist and description box now wait for it to get completed and then we'll just move to the next step so this lab has some manual steps also so you need to wait for it okay so just follow the video along with me and you'll be able to complete this lab without any issue Now once this is done we need a github account as we have seen already you need you have created the account also now here you have to just you can see github.com you have to just press enter button and also note like if you are signing into your github account it may ask for a two factor authentication email also so for that you have to just take your registered email address and then we'll be able to do this now just hit enter again hit enter now type i in and hit enter now again hit enter now you have to just click on this url okay just click on it and if you are already signed in like we did already so just you have to just click on continue okay just click on continue and if you want to use any other account you can use it now here basically we have to enter the code which is present on the cloud shell okay this code and if you are seeing like you need to enable two-factor authentication then the email code will be sent to your email basically your personal email now you have to just authorize it like this and then just hit enter okay also if you have completed this lab earlier you need to delete the repo as i shown earlier basically i have shown it earlier only how to delete the repo now this part is done okay so now finally we have done this 
part also basically if you have completing this lab for the first time then, now just preview the port on 8080 like this and here the jenkins you are already visible now sometimes what happens you get unable to process then in that case you have to just restart the lab and try again now let's move ahead to the next step and this step is manual so please follow as i am doing so that you get full score in this lab without any issue and it will be very easy step so just click on this settings icon just come down over here and here you can see we have the credentials in the security section now just click on this system and then you have to just add a credentials okay so wait for a few seconds and then just click on this system click on add credentials first of all click on global credentials okay just follow along with me and you'll be able to complete the lab so if there is a voice lag also do not worry just follow the video carefully so now here you have to just add a credential so just click on add credentials and from here it will be google service account from metadata and the id will be with the project id and from here you have to just click on create so finally we have created the basic credentials now come back again to the manage jenkins okay now here basically we have to just create a cloud so just click on the cloud create a new cloud okay i have how i have done here from here to here okay now for the name you can use any name there is no restriction so i'm using my name and then just select it and just create it now here basically you have to add the jenkins url and tunnel it is already mentioned on the sixth and seventh number of this particular task so just paste it carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot over there so that you are able to complete it now just save it like this once it is successfully saved then click on manage jenkins again and then you have you can see here we have to just copy it now for this you can use a personal notepad or use any online notepad also so basically here we have to just follow some simple steps so basically you have to just paste it like this and let me increase the font size so from here to here you can see place it with our github email so come over here to the settings option i'll show you how you have to come you can see here just come to the this profile icon go to the settings and here you can see the email option click on it and from here just copy the email carefully and just replace it like this now make sure there is no any extra space and just hit enter if you get this kind of output so basically here we have generated the key basically you have to just in the place of your github email address you have to replace your personal github email address okay from this placeholder now here we have to just create a new ssh key so just copy it here come over here and from here only you can just click on it and just click on new now if it is already available like you previously attempted this lab you have to de delete that key and just recreate it so just wait for some time and create a new key it's taking a bit of time do not worry we are following step by step now for the title you have to just paste it now many of you are facing issues on generating this id key okay so from here just copy it and just type cat space and this now from here you have to just copy carefully the ssh key from here just drag your mouse cursor and once you see this clipboard icon you have to just paste over here now chances are there you may face this kind of issue then again you have to come over here and just copy it carefully just copy it carefully like this and just paste over here okay now just click on add ssh key and finally the key has been added these things are done you need to come to the jenkins ui and from here only you can see the credentials option just click on it and then here two options are here credentials and stored scooped to jenkins you have to just click on the second one okay you have to just click on the second one just, the click, system, on the just click on one. it like this you have to click on it and from here you have to just click on global unrestricted and then just click on add credentials so just click on the add credentials and from here you have to just SSH select username with private key okay i made one mistake do not worry i will showing you first of all copy the id like this paste over here and just come over here okay so basically from here you can see the kind you have to just change it and just paste the id like this and then the username is our github username so just copy the username okay you have to just find it like this and then once all things are done you can see now here just click on the private key and just add it like this so basically the private key is situated on the id underscore github so how you will do you will do the same thing cat 
space id dot github if you face this kind of error do not worry it just do one thing control c to close now clear it now copy this carefully okay id dot github now just type cat space id dot underscore github now from here we have to copy it okay so if you try to copy also you may face this kind of error i'm showing the error part also do not worry so that everyone can understand everything so here if you try to copy it chances are there you may face this kind of issue so what you need to do you need to come back again and try so what we'll do from here only you can see from here the begin one we have to copy from the dash 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 begin to the end of the basically code so just carefully copy it from here to here and once you see this clipboard icon just paste over here all things are done just click on create it will take few seconds so just wait for it and after that we'll add the known github id also so finally the global credentials has been added now we have to just add the host the host dot github so just run this command over here and here you can see the ssh key has been generated now here you have to take care that we have to just copy from hash till the end equal to you can see the code we have to just use it now just go to the settings and here you have to just open the security section like this so just open the security and again it will take few seconds so just wait for it come down at the bottom and here you can see yes here host key verification just click on manually provided keys and then you have to just paste the host key which is just now generated okay so now here just come from here make sure the hash part is also included just paste over here once it is done you have to just like this you have to drag if you get error you have to just drag your mouse cursor like this and then just save it okay if you face any issue like you are unable to just save it just reload the browser window and try again it will be updated now once it is done just save it and finally we are done with this part also now here we have to create a jenkins job okay basically new item and configure our sample app so how we'll do you have to just copy the name of the app carefully and come over here and then you can see here new item just paste the new item name and then just come down over here and just click on multi branch pipeline and just click on the ok option now basically here we have to just do not add any display name we have to come over here and change the sources to get ok just change the sources to get you can see the project repository so, so here we have to find the project repository also also update the credentials like i did here basically you have to just select your github username it will be shown over here now here the project repository click on it i will tell you how you have to find the repository you can just come over here to the repository directly or you can just use your profile icon and just navigate to the repository let me show you how you have to do like this okay now from here you can see please pay attention to this step you have to just click on this ssh and just copy it carefully once you have copied it carefully make sure it is in ssh one only now just paste over here like this it will be updated and then once you are done with this we'll move forward to the next step you can see we have just selected the ssh one now just come down at the bottom okay and then just update this one what we have to update the periodic time to one minute and once it is done the all things are correct just save it and now here basically a pipeline will be created okay now here once the pipeline shows success you will be able to move forward to the next step you can see here it is showing finish status and success now the next step is that we have to just come back to the lab instructions basically our github repo and then you go to the cloud shell just hit enter if you see this kind of thing just paste the cloud shell it will take some time and then we'll create three more triggers okay finally it's done now let's come to the jenkins page and just click on this jenkins home page now just click on this sample app here you can see the multi branch pipeline is deploying and here you can see all these three are visible in case only one basically the master one is visible you have to just refresh the page and just check it and basically it may take time up to 10 to 15 minutes sometimes up to 20 to 25 minutes also so once you see the green tick on both the two basically if you see on all three then it's well and good if you see on basically on the first canary and the new feature then also you'll get full score without any issue so let's complete this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great day ahead now let's see and meet after some time
so basically here after 15 to 20 minutes or you can just try refreshing it and you'll see all these three will be mark as done like this okay you have to wait for 15 to 25 minutes and it will be done with the lab okay so here you can see all these three are done then you have to just come back to the lab instructions and check the score and if you are unable to see the score just check the score by task by task or just refresh the browser window and that's the way we have to complete this lab here you can see we are done with the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel